Okay, by now you guys probably know that Brittany Griner got nine years. Nine years in Russia for some drugs. Now, a lot of people have their opinions, especially so-called Black Americans. They got their opinions. And, you know, of course, Bootsy made a video. It was like, nine years for a weed pen? Nine years for a weed pen? This is what he was saying. But, bruh, you forget she is in Russia. These nine years that she got has nothing to do with drugs. I don't know how much she had on her, if she had a joint, if she had a weed pen. I don't know because every news story got something different to tell. The point is she's in another country with drugs. Now, keep in mind, they never gave her these nine years until after Nancy Pelosi went over to Taiwan. This is all political. She got caught up in the middle of a political web. This is all this is about. It has nothing to do with weed. It has nothing to do with her as a person. And I want to say to the so-called Black Americans, you can't go to another country with an American mentality. Now, I read in a news article where this girl was saying, I didn't get a phone call. I wasn't read rights. You are not in America. This is a movie, Double Take. And in that movie with Eddie Griffin, this dude was over in Mexico. He was in a Mexican jail. And dude was like, don't I get a phone call with an American mentality? The Mexican dude started laughing. And the dude says, you are not in America. You don't get the phone call, right? So you are not in America. You don't go to a foreign country with an American mentality. You have to abide by their laws. Now, whether she took it over there or not, or whether she got it while she was there, doesn't matter. I've heard people say things like, how did she get it there? Didn't they check her bags? Listen, when I went overseas and you check your bag in at the counter, they don't check them bags for drugs. They don't take no drug sniffing dogs through there. To my knowledge, they put them on the, on the plane. And then you have your carry-on bags, right? But when you go through um, the metal detector, they look for certain things in there. And there's ways of hiding stuff like she had in her bags. See, that's why there's certain people that get caught with firearms in another country or on the plane because there's ways of sneaking that stuff in there. So she could have gotten it from Russia, but you have people that leave America and go to another country with an I am an American mentality. You can't do that. Now I will say if Trump was in office, Trump would say, I'll take a look at it. But one thing Trump would not have done, he would not get her out because of the drug charge. Trump is against the, he's against drugs, man. He's against drugs coming into this country. So she stuck over there. And listen, they're talking about doing a prisoner trade. You mean to tell me America is willing to give up a known terrorist, an enemy of the United States, a terrorist, a dangerous terrorist for a black lesbian that got caught with drugs. Think about that for a moment, black people. 
I don't care how much you squeal and yell and talk about it's unfair and nine years is too much time. It's all political. It's got nothing to do with the drugs. It's got everything to do with politics. But keep this in mind. If Biden did not sign any laws to protect black people, what make you think he's going to rescue, give up a known terrorist for a black lesbian that got caught in Russia with drugs? Make sense of that. It would not be wise for them to give up a terrorist for a drug dealer. And I'm not going to say she's a drug dealer, but one article said drug dealer. And like I said, different articles got different information in it. So whether she just had um, a weed stick, pen, pipe, whatever it is, um, or a dime bag, I don't care. I don't know. The point is she got caught in Russia with drugs. They didn't decide to charge her until now. This is all politics, see? Now, Vladimir Putin wants his terrorists back. And he says, I'm willing to give you this black lesbian that got caught with drugs for a terrorist that can do more damage to more Americans than she could ever do to Russians. So do you think that's a fair trade? Now, I know a lot of y'all black people are caught in your emotions, but that's all that's it. it that's all it is, is emotion. You cannot go to foreign country. I don't care how famous you are. I don't care how much money you got. You can't do that with an American mentality. Now, I remember when I was in Germany, the Germans had the drugs. They had the hash and the weed and whatever it was that Americans want. They had that stuff. That's where Americans got it from. So she could have gotten that from Russians. But the point is, she's an American. She got caught and she's got nine years. Again, if they don't have, if they don't protect black people here in America, what make you think they're going to protect her? That's not a fair deal. A terrorist for her? She need to just do her time <laughs> and hope that she get out on good behavior. See, this ain't got nothing to do with racism. So black people, you can't say it's because she's black. She's in Russia. She got caught up in a political web. This is all it is, a political web. This is Putin's way of giving the United States, the Biden administration, the finger. Because again, if Trump was in office, this wouldn't be going down. But this is what y'all voted for. You wanted Kamala Harris, you wanted Joe Biden, and you got it, and this is the results of it. The inflation, all this madness that's going on, I don't even need to, to, to list it because you know you're experiencing it. But this is all political. She just happened to get caught up in a political web because the media made a big stink about it. So now Vladimir Putin is playing his hand. He's He wants to see if America is so desperate that they're willing to give up a terrorist for her. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.